so the dream, the goal, the plan was to become an accountant, um, to be a businessman and go and study uh, BCom at UWC, for which I was accepted. But I had studied, um, I did a gap year with Youth for Christ and it was in this year that I came to realize that there is a calling on my life stronger than I could ever imagine. My calling is to, to come to know the Lord and to study His Word. And it was in that year that I continuously prayed for this business because my heart was to become a businessman, an op entrepreneur, to, to study BCom and then to become a CA to make money and then start this business. But it was in 2017 when I was in my gap year that I just felt a strong call. And then the whole thing turned around and I ended up going to study theology at the Bible Institute of South Africa. Oftentimes, homelessness, the problem is not that they do not have money. The problem is mismanagement of money. So I then came to realize with my heart for business and numbers, I could then help them to understand how to better their money, better manage their money. And my heart for them is to grow, to move forward, to, to move from a place of dependency to independency. Oftentimes, I know that I could make a lot more money. Yes, of course, I need the money to continue this business, to continue to grow it. But it's not about that. My profit doesn't lie in the, what the business shows financially. But the profit of this business lies in the people that it invests in and where they go. I am from, I would say originally from Somerset West, Mokasso. And um, I would say my life started there off and um, due, due to circumstances and situations that happened in my family, I took a journey to Cape Town and I ended up on the streets. To Angelo, really, out of my mind, I would say thank you for coming across my path because without him, I would probably be sitting somewhere in the underworld with my wrong friends, doing the wrong things, ending up in the wrong places. And seeing that Angelo came and really took me by my hand and showed me this light on the other side of the tunnel. I would, love for, I would love for this business to own its own home um, so that it is able to not only provide work and employment but housing so that we can take people off of the streets and physically bring them in and from that build them. I would love for this business to, to build to a place where we have other avenues such as pool cleaning, um, house cleaning, um, painting, building, who knows, cabinetry, whichever other skill we can get and, and, and learn to intimately show these people and never lose its heart of these principles, but so that it is able to affect and to change the lives of many, many more. And that's, Lord willing, where we're going with this. 